trying to get the highest efficiency of our systems, we're trying to get the lowest cost per watt. But having said that, with our Gen 1 designs, our panel efficiency will be on the order of about 17%. This contrasts with the sun power panel that's running, I believe, close to 19% today. But that's a flat silicon. Our Gen 2, however, due to our optical combination using a solid concentrator, uh, our efficiencies jump up to a 26%. Well, in Gen 2, we're, again, a solid concentrator. The light enters, uh, when it goes into the glass, there's a Fresnel loss of about 4.3% rejected. The rest of it, though, once it's in the glass, the light never escapes. Uh, large commercial rooftop and large field. Uh, we're particularly interested in the large commercial rooftops, such as uh, mega malls. The, there's 10 malls in the U.S. These have millions of square feet. They're huge malls. Uh, by being on the roof, we shade the building, so a lot of the heat energy hitting the building hits our systems instead. So just by being there, we're reducing the energy load. But we're load correlated, generating the most power uh, right when the highest demand and highest cost for electricity is occurring. These mall owners feel that they can actually make more money off their rooftop than they can running kiosk space inside their malls. Uh, we're targeting with a 10-year amortization, uh, although we're targeting a 20-year life uh, span. Uh, 10 years, our cost per watt should get down in the order of 3 to 5 cents a kilowatt hour. We are trying to compete with oil and natural gas, not against subsidized solar and so forth. So, uh, again, the drive is to get that cost down as low as possible.